So here we are in the AFC Bournemouth home changing room. And I've got to say, I think this sofa is an addition just for us. This is not regularly here? No, I don't think so. I don't know which one. I was going to say, it'd be quite cool if you did a, like a team talk and you were all sat on sofas. Yeah. There, relaxed. A bit relaxed for an intense game, yeah. yeah. Probably don't make sense. Would that be the right vibe? <laughs> yeah, I think so. Right, there's actually a reason why we're here. This is Lewis Cook's goggle box. Yes. Because we are going to watch the last section of the Everton AFC Bournemouth game. Have you watched this back yet? Um, I've watched the second goal back a few times. Oh, OK. I wonder why. Yeah, obviously, seen the highlights and, yeah, it's been everywhere too far. OK, well, let's do this. Lewis Cook's goggle box. So, currently 2-0 down in the 86th minute. Is there a belief that, actually, we, we can get into this, we can, we can find a goal? I don't know if people look at the, the, the clock, see where it's at. Um, I didn't know what minute we were on, but you just got to carry on fighting, to be honest. And, like I say, one goal changed it and, and we got that goal. Dango comes on here and puts an unbelievable cross in. Utara, oh it's in! They have got to go back! Brilliant cross, isn't it? No one can defend it, it's got pace and power on it and then Anton's just made the right run, hasn't he? In my opinion, he, he changed the game for Anton. He decided he's going to take it, take it by a scruff of the neck and, and really dictate it. Substitution here. Are you speaking to your teammates? Are you regathering your thoughts? What happens in these little natural breaks in play? When you score a goal, the, the next 10, 15 seconds are Everyone's spinning around trying to get the ball back because you can get another one quickly. So, yeah, I think we're just gonna we were just gonna keep keep going and, and try and get the, the second one. Sean Dyche going mad. <laughs> can, can you hear Dyche? Yeah, you hear, yeah. You can hear him. Yeah, he's got a deep voice. So this is 90 minutes. Yeah. Two one down. Six minutes of added time, and Everton have got the ball. Yeah, and even when they're attacking, they're getting forward and looking dangerous. This is where Antoine just for me just he's so strong. Yeah. He didn't pick out the best pass, but he wants it again, see? So yeah. He keeps going. That's an incredible work rate when you're in the 90th minute. Yeah. I think this is the lead up to the goal now, isn't it? This much as well. This, this pass is... No one really probably spoke much about this pass, but that's got a bit of side spin, a bit of check. It's perfectly weighted. Yeah. And what are you thinking at this moment? I'm just thinking I never really make the box, so there's nothing to lose, you may as well make it. Clivert waiting in the middle, and Lewis Cook arrives! An extraordinary comeback from Bournemouth! From 2-0 down to 2-2, just like that, and Everton will be absolutely kicking themselves to bits! Yeah, just, it was an unbelievable cross, it was set up perfectly. <laughs> and your header, yeah. even you're saying that, yeah. I scored with a head. Yeah, I didn't have a celebration from a little boy, but... Yeah. But yeah, I scored a head in training the day before and everyone was like cracking up, like laughing and stuff. Were they? Unbelievable header. Really? I promise you, I'll show you it. Okay. It was next level. In my opinion, I'm quite good in the air. Yeah. See, I've never, I never make the box because I'm always like the deep line midfielder. Lewis Cook's first ever Premier League goal and only his third goal for Bournemouth. Mm -hmm. yeah. No one's followed you, no one's tracked you as well. Yeah. And it's that tired legs at the end of the game for Everton and you've just exploited it. Yeah, I mean, it wasn't like an... A really fast run into the box, it was just kind of, yeah, just floated in there. But yeah, like I say, it's it's not possible without a, a cross like that. As soon as it hit your head, did you know it was going in? Um, or because it's got a little bit kind of swells down, yeah. and looked back up, and it was just in in the side netting. Then, then everyone was celebrating, obviously, can't score much, and then I look back, and everyone's got the ball, and we're already playing. What did that mean for you? Because you know, I know you did your celebration for your son, Oscar, and. You've you've had a you know a lot change in your life recently. It was just kind of. I feel like I should have scored a lot more goals, and sometimes I always think about the worst case scenario behind me when I just feel like I should probably just be a bit selfish and, yeah. and make the box. So obviously to help team. But you're two two. Yeah, we and now you're thinking right, we we can win this. Yeah, I think cause obviously with like the Luton game and stuff, we know we can keep going and, and get a few goals quickly. But even that is a strike, isn't it? That's a great strike from How the there. It's a great save as well because he's not going to see that. Like that, that there, you just know he wants to win this game. Or you don't want to think about passing it. Yeah. And that, you need to encourage players like that to do that more. But that's he thinks that it's probably over. It does, doesn't it? Uh, yeah. He, he wants, wants you to be free. Yeah. He wants you to express yourself, especially in attacking areas. And that's a lovely cross as well. Bit of shoulder in there. Isn't yeah. It? Good saves, we thought. He's done well with both second, saves, yeah, hasn't yeah. he? Yeah, first and second. And they're thinking, well, well okay, right, we've got a point here. It's not what we want, but yeah. we've had two, they've had two opportunities. We pulled off two good saves. 
but that never say die attitude that exists within this group, this dressing room is, is yeah. special, isn't it? Yeah, I think so. I think since I've been in Bournemouth, we've always we had a, a few seasons where we'd come back from losing positions quite a lot. We'd win yeah. a lot of points, and I don't know where it came from, but maybe it's just we want to keep going to the end. Maybe it's, it's ingrained in in the club, but this one was crazy. Still going. Are you as fit as you've ever been now? Would you say? I, I think I don't know really. It's it's different fitness, obviously. Yeah, I would say definitely up there. Yeah. How tough is it as a player to make the right choice in these moments? Because you know the game's coming towards the end and that's it. Yeah. Like you say, an unbelievable cross into the box at that stage. Yeah, I think it's just volume. You want to try and get as many crosses as you can. The more you get in, the more chances you're going to get. But, I mean, that cross was, was really, really good. Perfect. Tavernier. Will there be a chance here for Bournemouth to pinch the points? Clivell is singing in, and Sinistera has done it! One of the most extraordinary comebacks in Premier League history! Everyone's going mental, even the doc's getting in on it. <laughs> he's turned that round, upside down, but it's fine. <laughs> yeah, I don't know what they're thinking, they're probably... They must be gutted, but what's yeah. the emotion for you? It's a hard one, because like, it was a bit like last year with Luton, it was... You don't realise... Obviously, the first like few seconds of when you scored the goal, it's unbelievable. It's the best feeling in football. Last-minute goals are definitely the best. But to come back here, it's 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 a bit like, what have we done? Oh, you know that Daishi is going to be absolutely yeah. sick. Yeah. Especially having played so really well, well for yeah. 85 minutes, you know. But even in back in mind now, you like just defend this last five minutes, and we did. I can imagine what the gaffer's saying. What's he saying? I don't know, but he'd probably be like, I don't know. We didn't deserve to win that. <laughs> Sorry. What do the Everton players say to you after the game? Um, are, are they, what are you saying here? I'm saying to Antoine, he changed the game, he won us that. There was a little scuffle and then he, he got a bit frustrated. Yeah. I thought he was going to get sent off to be honest, he was really angry and then after that he just kind of... Flipped. Got in the zone. What's the gaffer saying to you here, can you remember? Uh, I was speaking to the gaffer, I don't know what I'm saying. It's something about my performance but scoring a goal. <laughs> <laughs> He was laughing. I played badly, Gaffer, but I got a goal, so... Yeah. But no, he just had to go, go see the fans. And those moments are the moments you live for, isn't it? And especially, I guess, as, as a footballer, you can appreciate the, the, the travelling, the cost, the expense, oh, yeah. the, the day out, and to reward the fans with that moment. Yeah, we'll never forget that as a players and, and, and the team, but the fans definitely won't. I could imagine... Obviously, I haven't been in many away fans for a while, a while like as a supporter mm -hmm. but I reckon that was yeah scenes one of the yeah limbs what was limbs <laughs> limbs in the away end yeah scenes in the away yeah. end is this the perfect platform to, to really push on again we've played all right uh, we know we can still play better but um, sometimes when you play bad and you win games it's, it's not the worst thing if teams know you can score three goals in the last 10 minutes that will insert a level of fear and, that, and you go into games knowing that you've got that in that dressing room, this dressing room. That must be such a positive thing for you as one of the, one of the leaders of the group. Football's quite a stat game now, especially for analysts of different teams. And they know when different teams score different goals. There'll be teams that score the most of the goals at the end, or at the start. Um, not many at the start, but yeah, it shows that people will be watching us and, and know that they've got a game on their hands for, for 95, 96 minutes. And you've got your first Premier League goal now for some time. Yeah, first one, yeah. Yeah, yeah, it was, a, it was an amazing for feeling. A long yeah. time. Yeah, a long, long time. Felt like it should have happened a long, a long time ago. But look, I've done it now, and it's something that'll be with me. Okay, goal machine, target then. What, what are we looking me? for? Oh, yeah. uh, ten goals, ten assists. I oh, take that. Yeah. Yeah. Is, is that the Let's challenge? Go five and five. Five and five. Yeah. I could, well, right, hang on. You know, you're Premier League footballer. T ten and ten. I ten think. and ten. Yeah. That double be. figures. Yeah, double figures. Would be okay. Great, yeah. Okay. Deal. Yeah, double figures as in goals and assists then. OK, fine. OK. Compromise. I'll go back to 5-5. Five five. <laughs> <laughs> Lewis, thank you so much for your time. Thank you for letting me into the dressing room. And thank you for joining in with uh, Lewis Cook's Goggle Box. That was good fun. Cheers. Thanks, mate.